This video explores the hydrology and hazards of Blue Hole. I'm standing very close to let's make a deal with the entry move. I hope you stick around and I hope you learned something. Two more, make these count. All right, we got door number two. Give me one thing. Give me one more. Give me two. Stay loose. Do not let this bounce you out. <laughs> I'm sorry, I get giggled. Give me two, team. This means that I like the line. Whoa, Fred. Give me two, team. Give me two more. That seems easier than usual. Here we are at low water at Blue Hall, looking at the entrance move to let's make a deal. You can view here the little rock finger that kind of determines if you're going to door number three or not, even if you don't want to. If you clip it, you probably might as well embrace three. I like door number two. I think it's more fun. Up here you see there's clusters of rocks. And it makes you think be a bad place to stand up. Downstream, there's some more interesting geological formations in the rocks that we will explore. From the entrance move directly upstream, you wish to make a virtually straight line towards door number two. And right here you see what creates a bit of a seam like a small ledge, a jumble of rocks. And right here is a rock you might be familiar with. This little pointy rock can either help or hinder your route. I like to be to the left of it on my approach to door number two. As we swing around, you can see the route towards door number three. It goes behind this big rock we are now bringing into the pan shot. Over here, you can see door number two into two gate rocks that form this door. We'll walk over a little closer to give you a better view. You can see that the bottom is quite the jumble of rocks. This is not a great place to swim. The threat of entrapment is real here at Blue Hole. It certainly deserves a class four rating. The route is rather complex and requires teamwork and precision for a clean line. Black Betty's lurking downstream and even from here, I can tell that she is undercut. We'll get a closer look in a moment. And now we're going to look over here toward door number three. You can see door number three comes over here. You got big, flat, smooth rock that's clearly well underwater. And you come down through this channel. Kind of turbulent, not unlike door number two, honestly. And for kayakers, there are a few trashy little holes that might give a first timer some trouble, especially if you're not aware it's there. Most groups do not scout this. It is a terrible place to swim. From this vantage point, you're looking upstream toward door number two, and you can clearly see why it's a bouncy, fun ride. 
Door number three isn't too far away, but your angle of attack is different exiting that door. And now downstream, you can see where the humps form. There's an obvious dip in the middle, and that's pretty much where I like putting my raft. I think it's a really joyful, fun, rowdy ride and exciting. And a good test of the crew's skills to know what lays ahead when you enter Callahan's on your way to Godzilla and Humongous in the Olympic Channel. This is my gut check. This is Black Betty. As you can see, she is undercut and somewhat scary looking. Because of that rock and other issues here, guides will often set safety behind that hump you see in the center of the screen. It's a great place to try to deploy help to any possible swimmers. And these rocks are quite fun to bounce across on your way down toward the wave train and exit of Blue Hole. But take a look at this rock jumble that is present here. You notice the water is flowing through this and under it. Most of these sieves don't look big enough to entrap someone. But you can't say that there isn't significant entrapment possible here. And certainly foot entrapment would be very easy. Terrible place to swim. Worst place to stand up. And from this view, you can see even the rock that creates the safety eddy is indeed undercut. And looks like there's potential for sieves in the area, too. Sketchy place to be swimming. No real need to, but it happens. Next up, we will probe some of the potholes below. This is the namesake of Blue Hole. See the many potholes. These potholes are rather interesting. They're more of a matrix of caves through this bedrock, I suppose, or large monolith. I think you will find the video coming up shortly to be hugely interesting. This is a bottle of daylight maker. Call it blue hole. So this is blue hole. You've seen the hazards. You've looked at underwater even. Don't swim here. If you come in rafting, choose a competent guide in advance and make your request well in advance. Many of the guides that are competent are pretty busy. It's your choice. Choose wisely. Have lots of fun. If you're a kayaker, make sure you got a solid roll before you come run this. It is not a pleasant place to swim. This channel is possible because of the supporters you're now seeing. <laughs> Cut, let's try again. This channel was made possible by the wonderful super fans. These are their names. These are the people supporting this channel and its associated adventures during the not winter of 2022-2023. So, if you want to join the list and make this happen, Look at the URL, come rafting with me. Those of you that make substantial donations such as Ben Franklin's or Tecumseh Grants will be listed right here. I really do appreciate you and I appreciate you other viewers too and Google Ads because that buys the cameras and the other electronics necessary to make this channel happen. 
Love you much. Peace out till next time.